Nice shot, Jackie. Golfers, Titleist has seven different golf balls available in 2021. If you want to find out the differences between these golf balls, here is the video for you. Hey golfers, we are going to be comparing all of Titleist's seven golf ball models available in 2021. So Jackie, what Titleist golf ball do you play? Yeah, I play the Pro V1 and I have since I was in college. Yeah, getting fit for the right golf ball, whether that is Titleist or whether any other manufacturer, is very, very important. Not only should you be playing the right golf ball, you should consistently be playing that golf ball for every single round. All golf balls are made differently. So the covers are different, the core is different, and you can definitely notice quite a lot of differences in the feel. So stay tuned as we compare all of the tightest golf balls available in 2021. So Jackie, are you excited to hit a whole bunch of shots for me today? I'm excited to see the results and the differences of all the options that Titleist can give us. So for today's test, Jackie, we're gonna be hitting shots with the 52 degree wedge, a seven iron, and your driver. We're gonna be paying attention to feel, spin rate, and ball speed. And we're gonna notice if there's any major differences between these golf balls. You ready to hit some golf shots? Let's go. So Jackie, we just hit four wedge shots with the true feel. How does the true feel feel? It feels soft. I mean, right, it comes off the face and it feels soft. I mean, which I would have expected with the true feel. Yeah, the true feel is designed to feel very, very soft off the club face for golfers that want that soft feel. But it is also designed to spin very, very low with your wedge game. And what we noticed is the spin rate was right around about 5,000. So the velocity golf ball with the wedge, how did that feel? Uh, definitely a little bit harder than the last one in the true feel. Yeah, it's designed to be not as soft as the true feel. It's designed for those players that just kind of want to hit it long. The spin rate was pretty similar overall, but it's designed for those players that just want to hit the ball far. The Tour Soft, how did the Tour Soft feel with the wedge? Uh, definitely softer than the Velocity, I'd say probably in between uh, the Velocity and the True Feel. So. Yeah, it's designed to feel soft again, Tour Soft is the name, um, but it's not going to spin as much as the previous two models. It's going to be more of a moderate spin with the wedge. So Jackie, the tour speed, now we're kind of moving up to a little bit more premium golf ball here. How did that one feel? Yeah, it felt similar to the velocity. I'd say a little bit hotter off the face, but other than that, feel felt pretty similar. Yeah, the tour speed is an emphasis on speed, and that's going to be a little bit more. We'll see that in the long game. But it's going to spin a little bit more than those other models because of the material and also the way the core is built, so it's going to be a little bit more premium spin around the green for a player. Jesus. <laughs> it's definitely spinning more. Yes. So the AVX, this right here is why golf ball fittings really matter. So we can notice quite a significant jump in spin rate. And we noticed that with you trying to catch that ball when it was coming back to you. It was hitting that screen and spinning a lot more. Yeah, I definitely could tell as soon as I hit it that it was going to come right <laughs> back at me. But I, yeah, the spin was significant. Yeah. and then. Could you notice a difference in the feel with the being a three-piece golf ball now? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it felt good. Uh, but again, there was just a lot of spin that was happening for sure off the face. Yeah, so touching on that spin really quickly, we'll notice the spin rate was around about 7,000 RPMs with the AVX. 
we'll notice the others were all hovering right around about 5,000 RPM. So 4,500 to 5,500, quite the jump there with the AVX. So you're going to get a lot of spin around the greens with the AVX. That was so transitioning from the uh, AVX to the Pro V1, could you notice the difference in feel? Yeah, a little bit firmer off the face for sure. Um, yeah, definitely not as soft as the AVX. Yeah, the big difference also, yes, it's going to feel a little bit firmer, but the spin rate is also going to be still very, very high as well. Mm -hmm. So we'll notice the spin rate was about 8,000 RPMs with your wedge shot there too. So once again, big gains compared to those other two-piece golf balls. Spin. Okay, so finally, Pro V1X. So Pro V1X is going to spin high as well. It's uh, in the wedge game. It's going to probably feel fairly similar to the Pro V1. Maybe just a little bit firmer than the Pro V1 will feel. You said you couldn't really notice too much mm -hmm. of a difference. Yeah, no, not not a whole lot. Um, yeah, honestly, it, it felt fairly similar in, in the wedge game, so didn't notice a whole lot of difference. Okay, so yeah, so the big takeaway in 15 seconds is the golf balls that are more premium are going to spin more. So we'll notice the AVX, the Pro V1, Pro V1X spinning 7 to 8,000 RPMs, while the golf balls that are designed for a little bit more speed are going to spin a little bit less. So that was spinning between 4,500 to 5,500, so quite the range. We have feel covered, so feel and spin with the short shots. Let's move on to seven iron and hit a whole bunch with the seven iron. Sounds good. So Jackie, we're really putting you to the full test here today. So we're getting you to hit a whole bunch of shots to help us with, uh, with this lower swing speed um, to fit into what golf ball we should fit into. So, Interesting that your club speed is right around about 70 miles an hour. Your ball speed was pretty consistent across the board. Now keep in mind, a lot of these numbers are definitely going to be subjective to where you catch it on the club face a lot of the times. But you can definitely notice that the hottest golf ball, the highest efficiency, highest ball speed was actually the tightest Pro V1X. So that's kind of interesting to kind of notice there as well. So also, if we look at spin rate and height, that's probably going to be the, the most important thing to take away from the seven irons here. So you'll notice the spin rate, the highest spin was with the tightest Pro V1X. We do know that the Pro V1X is designed to fly the highest and spin the most. So you'll notice your height was also the highest with the Pro V1X. If we look at the other end of the spectrum right here, you'll notice the AVX. So AVX is supposed to fly quite a bit lower and also spin a little lower. You can see how the spin rate was down. So it was flying almost 10 feet lower. And then the Pro V1 is usually in between the Pro V1X and the AVX. It kind of was in regards to spin and height. So they're your more premium golf balls. If we look at the other golf balls here uh, that are a little bit more kind of budget friendly, you'll notice a little bit less spin in, in general, just a little bit less spin but uh, not a crazy difference in there in spin. Kind of interesting how the true feel did fly the lowest. Um, so we did, we're seeing general trends, what you would normally see with regards to tightless golf balls here. So I like to organize this by height, and you can kind of see the general trend. Pro V1X is a little higher. Pro V1 is next step. Tour soft, velocity, AVX are all kind of in the, kind of the same area. And then you'll notice the tour speed and the true feel were flying a little bit lower. So kind of a, a kind of quick summary is, yes, it is always going to be player dependent. But the way that the Titus Pro V1X is designed, it does have less dimples than the Pro V1. It's designed to fly a little bit higher. And that's a little bit to do with the lift and drag. So seven irons covered. Thanks so much for hitting <laughs> so many seven irons. All I have left for you is to hit drivers. Perfect. Jackie, you just hit over 100 golf shots for me. Thank you so much. You bet. <laughs> Anytime. This is going to be the most in-depth 
data video comparison of all the Titleist Golf Balls that you probably will find. So this is going to be really interesting. Do keep in mind though, it is a lot to do with hit location as well. So if you do miss hit a little bit, now we did have to take out a couple of miss hits. I'm not going to expect you to hit every single shot perfect, but you did an awesome job. So I really appreciate it. Let's get down to business and diagnose the differences. So one thing that stands out to me the most with the Pro V1X. So we're over 100 golf shots in. You're tired. I know you're being tired. We've been shooting other videos today as well. But what really impressed me was the, the ball speed on that, on that ball there too. Known as the ball speed, the highest carry and highest total distance there too. And it's actually kind of interesting. If we look at the more premium golf balls here, so I'm circling around the top three with regards to carry distance, you look what shows up. You kind of pay for what you get, essentially. We'll notice the Titleist Pro V1X, Titleist Pro V1, they're your more premium golf balls. They're $50 a dozen, but there's a reason why you pay more for that golf ball, because you do get more out of it. AVX was also up there as well. But it's also kind of interesting to, to find sleepers. So a sleeper here was the True Feel. So the True Feel is only $23 a dozen. So for a player that is in Jackie's swing speed category, is a good option for a player that still wants to get the ball out pretty far, but not pay quite as much. So this is, when it comes to ball fitting, not only you have to pay attention to you know, the feel, what you're going to be paying for it, the spin rate and the numbers, but in real, realistic, are you going to pay $50 for a box of golf balls? It, it can add up over time, especially if you're more of a recreational golfer there too. So it's always fun to find a sleeper in there. That was probably my sleeper in there with regards to kind of numbers across the board. The, the true feel was pretty impressive there too. So this diagnosed the numbers a little bit more. As I mentioned, highest ball speed, was the Titleist Pro V1X, AVX. The tour speed was up there as well with regards to ball speed there as well. Uh, so it's kind of interesting. Um, we noticed the tour soft had the slowest ball speed of them all. Now I know a lot of videos people talk about soft being slow. It could be the fact that you just didn't quite catch it perfect on those shots, but you definitely noticed the ball speed was kind of a, a little bit slower with the tour soft golf ball. Um, if we look at spin, so spin rate is also kind of interesting to, to look at. If we look at spin rate, we notice we've got a range from about 1782 to about 2100. So it's not like it's a huge range with regards to spin. It's nothing like we were seeing with the wedges. With the wedges, we were seeing a separation of over 2000 RPMs between each, each golf ball. So that's kind of important there to note is, you know, golf balls premium or not, they're going to be probably pretty good with off the driver there too. Some will be faster with regards to ball speed. So that's kind of interesting if you look at those numbers there too. Um, height, so height once again, that's going to be related to hit location, the T, T height you're playing where you catch on the club face. It's going to influence a lot there as well. It's kind of interesting how the, the Pro V1 when you were hitting it here flew a little higher than the Pro V1X. Normally we would say the Pro V1X would fly higher than the Pro V1. So this once again, just keep in mind, it's based on the data that we collected, but not every single golf swing is going to be perfect. So that's one thing, one thing to kind of keep in mind there as, as well. So really kind of interesting data. Um, tight this golf balls, they all feel differently. They all, put, all spin differently. They all have different ball speeds associated with them. Some are going to be uh, more premium focused, so you're going to be paying close to $50 a dozen where some are going to be more value focused, where you're going to be paying $23 a dozen. So it really comes down to the player's ability and what they see with regards to the value of golf ball. I would say the most important thing is sticking to the exact same golf ball once you find one that works for you. In a second swing, we do offer a complimentary ball fitting with a driver fitting or an iron fitting. So make sure to ask your club fitter when you're working with us in store or also online to ask them, hey, what golf ball should I play? Which golf ball should I recommend? I hit the ball higher, I hit the ball lower. Maybe I should be playing something a little bit more spinnier or not. So ask the professionals. We definitely can help you. Uh, thanks for watching this video. There's a lot of content here. Hope you appreciate it.